here we are. If you uh, have chased Samba before, Jack was doing a pretty good imitation there, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, something a bit different on this trip. Just a personal hunt with me and Jack and Sean. We're going to come out and chase some Samba. Um, and you know what the drill is when you go hunting with Sean. He hasn't shot a Samba deer before. But um, the last couple of trips he's done with us, and he's first time tar shooting, shoots a 12 year old 12 inch bull tar, and then he goes out and knocks over a 14 pointer. So you never know what, what could happen on this one. Yeah, stick with us and see what happens. <laughs> mean little camp here as well. Um, Sean's gazebo, got that set up, got the uh, Black Wolf tent, just purchased that the other day. Fucking pretty mean tent actually. Good for this sort of stuff, beats jumping in the little tent and uh, crawling around the place in bits and pieces. You can listen to each other snore on that one. Sweet. Have a bit of a brew, wait for about half past one, two o'clock and we'll go for a wander. He's broadside here. Just flattened him. <laughs> just put it straight in the middle of his shoulder and oh, oh. Six. Hey, what? what have we got down here, Jack? First Samba dead. First Samba sag, how far was he? Uh, he's 374 metres away. Yeah, mean. Yeah. He's not a um, monster, but it's Jack's first Samba, Samba deer. Yep. Let alone to be a stag, um, yep. and uh, here he is hooked up on this bloody massive steep face. But, um, yeah, bloody fantastic. Jack's first sample. Right, here we are. We've uh, just whipped the guts out of this big fellow. We had to let him go from where he was hanging upside down, he rolled all the way down the bank into a bit of shit. But, um, mm. Jack's first Samba deer. <laughs> And it's a stag. Yep. It's um, not the big uh, lifetime trophy, but it's a bloody good start yep. for a young fella. So, um, no, what do you reckon, Jacko? Ah, uh, pretty fantastic yeah. evening. Um, putting a good stalk to get in on him, in on him, and um, yeah, managed to pull it off. Yeah. How far was it again? 374 metres, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. The sun was streaming in our eyes. It was a prick and then Jack managed to get behind a bit of a tree and block the sun and uh, he happened to just walk out perfectly broadside and uh, I actually just got the camera on him too, a little bit wiggly, but um, I did get it and I seen him just drop. Yep. So, um, no, nah, bloody good. Uh, <laughs> uh, fantastic. Oh, right, yo, Sean, there's your first, um, first yeah. little Samba. Yeah, nice little fella. I can uh, be a good eater too. Yeah, nice. Nah, samba go away. Eh? Yep. Um, no, nah, me. Been a fantastic um, afternoon, evening, isn't it? Jack got his first uh, Samba stag. And yeah, tonight I was lucky enough, got this uh, nice little fella. And I ticked it off the list. Mmm, so, mean. Yeah. So we, um, Jack and... Good morning everyone. Boys are ready. Joel's ready to go. So, uh... The Carter, the Carter team have got one on the deck each, 
So now it's just up to the Robinson team to come up with the goods for Joel. See how we go, eh? She's a cracker morning, so um, yeah, should be pretty good, actually. Cold as hole. Cold as cold this morning. She's freezing in the monitors. Mm. Oh, mate, good luck. Yeah, right. We'll see you. We'll, we'll turn the radio on an hour after daylight. Yeah, man. Okay, mate. Good. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck yourself. Oh, Joel, what happened there, mate? Um, Unfortunately, we couldn't seal the deal for Joel there, but hey, that's hunting. We got close a couple of times, but it just wasn't meant to be. Plenty of lessons learned and great time spent with my boy. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.